Hey, YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Hey, check this out. Somebody was asking me tonight about scouting when you are recruiting in dynasty mode. And I'm going to show you something that I do and that I have found extremely successful. Um, first of all, this is the fourth year of my dynasty with the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, we've won three straight national championships. And because of that, a lot of recruits want to come to play for Miami, which is a very nice bonus in recruiting. You can see I have 900 hours here. We are in uh, uh, week seven. We're seven and oh. So technically uh, week eight, I guess. Oh, it says week nine up there. Okay. So week nine. Um, but you can see, look at the, the recruiting. First of all, we'll take a look at the class. I am number one, the top class right now. I have 11 recruits. Ten of them are five-star guys, one four-star guy. You look at the other five-star guys, uh, one for the Gators, one for Oregon, three for Georgia. They have the second most, two for Penn State, and one for Tennessee. And the Miami Hurricanes have 10. And one of the reasons for that success is oh, – I always go out one too far. One of the reasons for that success is – I'm not wasting any money, any hours on scouting. If you look at the scouting over here uh, in the center of the screen, it says 0%. Okay. You can see every single player on my list has not been scouted. 0%. And that includes all of my recruits. See all these? This is a four star, this is a five star guy signed. Signed, all these are five-star recruits, all signed without scouting at all. You use a lot of hours in scouting. Now, this is not for every team. If you're using a team that's a two-star school or a three-star school, you need to scout because you're only going to be getting three-star players. You need to know if they're a bust because that bust makes that three-star player into a two-star player. When you're using a good school and you're having success like I am with the Miami Hurricanes, you don't need to scout anybody. Because you're talking all five-star recruits, okay? If a, a five-star recruit is going to be one of three things, he's going to be a gem or a bust or as advertised is what I call it if there's no change. So if, there's, if he's a bust, that drops him down to a four-star guy. So you still want him. You know, as long as you're going after five-star guys, you don't need to scout them because they're, they're either going to be better than five stars or they're going to be a four-star. So there's absolutely no reason to waste hours on scouting five-star guy. Four stars, same thing. Absolutely same thing. If this guy here, Marcus Rice, if he's a gem, he'll be a five-star guy. Beautiful. If he's a bust, he'll be a three-star guy. Somebody we probably still want on the team, but he may not get a lot of playing time. Absolutely not somebody you're going to remove from your list. So if there's no change and he's as advertised, he's going to be a four-star guy. So absolutely no reason to waste hours scouting him either. So I, I, my rule of thumb is I never scout anybody <clears throat> who's a four and a five-star recruit. There's no need to save those hours, use them for throwing the house at people. Um, what, what is the, uh, the term? I want to use the right term here. Um, friends and family, contacting their friends and family, which I call stalking, <laughs> you know, sending your DMs, whatever you're going to do. Use the hours on those. They're much better used doing that than scouting. So when you get to three-star players, absolutely, you have to scout them. But four-star players and five-star players, you don't have to scout them at all. Use those hours for the recruiting itself, and you can get a list like this. Like I said, I'm in the fourth season of my dynasty, and I have 11 five-star recruits, and, and we're in – week seven, uh, week nine of the season. So, and again, I'm not, you know, 15 years into my dynasty. Uh, this is the fourth year. You can see the date, 2027. I'm in the fourth year of the dynasty and having that type of success. So um, you can watch my other video on how to get more hours for recruiting in dynasty mode. And that will also help you um, but once you get those hours, definitely check that video out because it tells you how to get a lot of hours. Like I got 900 at this point and I, uh, last year at the end of the season, I had like 1300 per week. Um, so watch that video. It'll, it'll show you how to get a lot of hours to recruit in dynasty mode, but 
then use this video to not scout those four and five star guys. Put those hours to better use because you can, you should, and you will have a lot of success when you do that. Hope this helps. See you next time.